Finally, I just purchased the Synology NAS. Here I can store up to 80 terabyte of data. Model of this NAS is DS1522+. This is actually a 5-bay NAS. You may think what is NAS. Full meaning of NAS is Network Attached Storage. This is actually a dedicated storage server connected to a Wi-Fi network, allowing multiple users and devices to access data from a centralized location. That means I can access this huge amount of data from my local network and from anywhere in the world. That's why mainly I purchased this Synology NAS. Now let's unbox this together. Now, this is unboxing time. I am super excited because for the first time I am unboxing my own Synology NAS. Here I can see a little box, another box, little bit of bigger box, this one. Alright, and inside it, I think here we will get our Synology NAS. And here you go. This is our Synology NAS. Oh, it is not that heavy because inside it right now there is no hard disk at all. That's why oh, it is not that heavy. And here we go. This is our Synology NAS DS1522+. Now before talking about Synology NAS, now let's see what's inside in this little box. In this box I can see a power cable and in this bigger box here you can see a AC power adapter and Ethernet cable to connect our NAS with router and here you can see some additional papers user manual actually and here you can see an another extra Ethernet cable now to lock our hard drive with NAS Synology also provide us two cute keys now here you go this is our NAS on the right side here you can see some lighting indicators for our NAS status hard disk and also we can see USB 3.0 port and NAS power port in this NAS, both left and right side, here you can see big Synology branding right here. I think this NAS is built with steel. Anyways, in the back, here you can see two big fans. Also, we can see four 1GB LAN port. Also, upgradable 10GB port and if you want to add extra NAS with it, expansion slot also available here. All right, at the very bottom of our NAS, here you can see two memory slots. Actually, we can add two NVMe SSD right here. Now, to increase our data read and write speed, we can add NVMe SSD, which is totally optional, but for my case, I will add to NVMe SSD 500 GB and 500 GB in total 1 terabyte to access very frequent data in quicker way actually this is essential so here you go this is our two SSDs now I am going to insert to NVMe SSD right here setup process is pretty easy on the back also Synology provide us the instruction I just follow the instruction and set up it just like that it's that simple and yes we just successfully set up our 2 NVMe SSD as a cache memory now it is high time to insert our hard drive in our NAS. For the very first time I am using NAS that's why I purchased two 8TB hard drive. Later for my other base 
MT base, I will purchase bigger size of hard drive for sure. You can insert 24 terabyte hard drive in each bay, then you can store up to 120 terabyte in this NAS. At any time, I can swap out and increase my drive storage. So this is not an issue. Inserting hard drive on NAS is pretty easy. Just open up the bay and disconnect the bars to bars and then insert your hard disk. And then add side bars like this. Also you can add a screw to attach them more strong way. All right. Now I am going to insert these two bays. At first I just insert the second one and this time I am going to insert the first bay. Actually you can insert them by number wise. Now at this moment I am going to lock this base with the Synology provided keys. If I lock this base then no one can open hard drive from NAS. Now using Ethernet cable I am going to connect our NAS with router. One port I will insert it in Wi-Fi and another one I will insert in NAS. Alright we just successfully connect our NAS with our router and in status here you can see the indicator is blinking and disk 1 and disk 2 light is on that means everything is functional now at this moment we are going to configure and set up our NAS that's why we need to go into our PC now let's jump into the computer screen now to configure NAS in browser we need to go finds.synology.com and here you can see our server name now we need to configure the server at first to use this properly actually i thought setup process is pretty easy as a beginner when i in real life actually when i configure try to configure this NAS i am facing few problems I thought by watching some YouTube videos everything is so smooth but as a beginner actually I faced some problems that's why it takes little bit of more time to configure this NAS. Six hours later. Finally we just successfully set up our Synology NAS now easily i can access my server data using my macbook not only that i'm using multiple devices like ipad pc mobile from every device i can easily access my server data in future if i purchase more devices i don't need to move data from one device to another not only that, I don't have to worry about losing data because in server if one hard drive fail then later easily I can exchange this and automatically everything will be backed up in multiple hard drive. It is a huge relief for me and for my company. Not only that, in this Synology NAS it has a huge library of apps in package center I installed a app which is called Plex this is basically right now my personal Netflix in this drive in my NAS basically I store my favorite TV shows movies and easily I can access them in Plex app from my any device. This is huge, right? Not only that, I can do a lot of other things with this NAS. 
if i go to synology package center then in install tab i can see my installed packages for example i can see the plexer in all packages i can see all of these other stuff that i can do with my nas for example i can create my own mail server also i can create virtual machine and other things easily i can do with no cost it is huge also synology has their native mobile app for both ios and android device app name is drive with this drive in mobile easily i can access my drive data also i can easily share my file via link also i can request file from others by creating file request link everything is possible within mobile app thank you so much for watching this unboxing and review of my new synology nas ds 1522 plus if you really like this one then like this video and subscribe this channel to watch more upcoming videos like this one thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys to the next one goodbye